Welcome to the Equity Team Podcast, where we provide Sedona, Arizona real estate insight to help you thrive during your next real estate transaction. Hello, I'm Chad McMahon um, with the Equity Team, and this is going to be a quick short-term rental deal analysis for a triplex, a multifamily property in Cottonwood, Arizona. It's going to be a cash cow. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. So this property is walking distance. It's about a five minute walk from or less from Old Town Cottonwood, which is like the beating heart. That's where the activity is in Cottonwood, Arizona. A lot of people say, where the heck is Cottonwood and, and why should I care? It used to be that Cottonwood is where people would stay so that they're not spending as much money um, you know, overnight and that kind of thing. But it's becoming more and more of a destination. So real quick, I'm going to show you on the map and then I'll dive into this property. So I'll show you relative to Sedona. So Sedona is, greater Sedona area is like this in my cursor. And then Cottonwood is like this. This is Cottonwood. So Old Town Cottonwood is this yellow, it's kind of a yellow part right here. This is Old Town Cottonwood. And the easiest way to walk there is from the driveway here, you just go walk here and then walk here. And this is like right, right in the action. Old Town Cottonwood cut. And if you don't know anything about Old Town Cottonwood, you have several really kind of trendy, fun, uh, modern wine tasting locations. You have some of the best restaurants in the entire Verde Valley. The Verde Valley includes Sedona. Really good restaurants here on this, this strip. You've got Bocce Pizza and Strada, really good. Got a high-end seafood Italian place called Nick's. Um, got a whole bunch of places here, breakfast, lunch, and dinner and very popular places with really good food plus sprinkled in you've got shopping in here and some other places too that are just um, they're doing great over there so old town has come a long ways it's also close to this is the birdie river right here and it's also if you know what jerome is jerome is a uh, very popular tourist destination right here and then drive time to Sedona is about 25 to 30 minutes. So there's a lot going on here. But one of the things that I like the most is uh, walking distance to Old Town. You just stay parked and you just walk over and you shop and you eat and you do the whole bit. Pretty cool. So this place, uh, again, it's multifamily. It's a triplex, so three units. There aren't many multifamily properties in the entire Verde Valley, and they're worth a premium. Um, and it's pretty easy to sell them, you know, down the road. So it's good security on ownership. But this place, it has one larger unit, which is this main one here behind the wall. And by the way, none of these share walls. It's not your typical multifamily. So it's actually three separate dwellings that don't share walls. They each have their own full kitchen. They each have their own bathroom with at least a shower. Uh, the main unit has laundry. The other two units don't have laundry, which is not a problem. If you're thinking, you know, long-term rental or short-term rental, there are great solutions for either way. Um, but, you know, for example, short-term rental, which is what this deal analysis video is for, you don't have to have laundry in there. You can add it, but you don't need it. So uh, this just came on the market, uh, just received an over $200,000 um, remodel on this property. And so it's drastically different from what it was about a year ago um, when it was listed before. And it has brand new roofs, brand new HVAC. Uh, the main unit has a traditional air conditioner. The other two units, the other two dwellings, they have mini splits, brand new. This property even received fresh landscaping and the whole bit. But let me just show you real quick. Oh yeah, from the overview, so you can see this is the total property. It's a rectangular property line. Whoops, and it goes back here. So this is all of it. So we've got the one in the front left is a one bedroom, one bedroom, one bath. This one here is a three bedroom, one bath. And then the one in the back is a studio. It's a cute little studio. And again, they all have full kitchens. And then each one has its own small private fenced backyard. Okay, they all have their own. This one does here. You can't see because the tree, but there's a private fence yard. And then they all have a gate that goes out into the shared yard. 
and the shared yard has a fire pit and it has, you know, like a, not quite a garden, but it has a combination of turf, gravel, walking stones, uh, walking path. And then there are kind of these dirt areas where it's, um, you know, planted um, various things, uh, flowers and stuff like that. Um, so you got a mailbox for each of the dwellings. So this is the main unit. This is the front door entry. Just going to go through these real quick here. This is all the main unit so far. Main unit kitchen. This is all brand new. Brand new appliances, brand new everything. Um, I'm going to go a little faster here. So this is the one bedroom kitchen. Let me go back a little bit. Okay, this is the one bedroom kitchen. So this is, it has its own living room. The other side of this wall is the kitchen. Over here on the other side of this wall is the bathroom. And behind the photographer is the bedroom. So here's that kitchen. Uh, and this is its bathroom. This is all brand new too. And here's the bedroom. Okay, now we've got this cute studio. So even the ceiling, it was a low flat ceiling before this has been lifted up. So now it's a frame. This is all brand new. All of this, this is super cute. Um, if you're wondering the furnishings, it's staged from a local company called Soul Spaces. So furnishings can't be included, but you can pay Soul Spaces and they'll leave everything if you wanna go that route. So the studio is kind of like a combo of bed and living room. You don't have to furnish it the way they did it. This is how they did it. They got a couch here on the other side as a bed, but back here is the kitchen. You've got um, additional closet space here, and then you do have a full kitchen over here. And it's super cute. And again, it has its own brand new HVAC. There's the bathroom. So there you go. So this property, the gross annual income estimate on this one, is a minimum of 120,000 gross per year. And I would say your range is 120 to 150,000 gross per year. Honestly, you could, it might be higher than the 150. Typically these multifamily units give a much higher uh, rental income than single family properties at the same price. So it, it could be quite a bit higher than 150, but to be conservative, I'm gonna give that range of 120 to 150,000 gross income. The only things that you would need to add here, one is furnishings and stocking, just kind of normal stocking. But the other thing that I would do to push your income and value as much as possible is I would add uh, back here in the shared area, probably add it either an in-ground or probably just an above-ground hot tub. And, you know, what you do with a short-term rental is you'd put instructions in each one of these and just kind of tell everyone, hey, the shared space back there, there's a hot tub, you know, just give each other space, respect others, you know, max your time in the hot tub at, a, at an hour or something like that. And that way everyone gets to use it. Um, so I add a hot tub because it helps with marketing quite a bit. The other thing I would do is this left one bedroom unit. I would spruce up the curb appeal a little bit because it's a little bare, a little barren. So I would do maybe some plants or something along both of these walls. And you could add some pavers. Um, that would look really wonderful. So my total cost estimate, not including furnishings, but for improvements to the property, uh, I would say you're at, including hot tub in the whole bit, I'd say you're approximately 30,000. Um, plus your furnishings, and then you're good to go. And that's it. So uh, as always, you know, please, please subscribe. If you like this video, if it's helpful, subscribe, like it. Uh, that way it encourages other people to watch it as well. Um, we're just trying to offer value here and, and help people out. If you have any questions on this, or, um, you know, there aren't any similar properties to this, but if you have any questions on this, or you want to be on the hunt for similar properties, uh, reach out. Let us know how we can help you. Um, by the way, this property is going to move pretty quick. It's probably only going to be active on the market for another two or three days. And then this one's going to be pending. So if you uh, have questions or interest on this one, please reach out right away. Okay. Everyone take care and we'll be in touch.
Thanks for tuning in to the Equity Team Podcast. To speak with one of our top agents, visit us at owninaz.com. That's O-W-N-I-N-A-Z.com. Or call us at 928-323-0031.